Hello everyone. Welcome to Software Engineering course. This is week 4 lecture number 1. In the last lecture we will discuss software development life cycle which are these the uh, which are the six phases for every software development like requirement gathering requirement gathering like how to collect the requirements for this particular software feasibility study mean to ensure that the following software yeah the, the the software is feasible or not like it is possible or not in the given resources okay then the system analysis system analysis mean what are the functional requirements and the non-functional requirements of the software what are the core requirements the core and functional requirements mean what are the basic requirements like without these requirements the software is not acceptable for the customer then we will discuss the design phase design in the designing phase you have to create a different designs like low level designing abstract level design high level designing in the next videos we will discuss briefly about the the particular designs for now just remember that designing means to create a graphical user interface like the front end design for the software like for example you are developing software which is a bookshop okay so what would be the user interface like how to search a particular book or like how to add a book how to purchase a book okay so what will be the basic design for this implementation and coding after the designing you have to implement your design okay you have to code you have to convert the designing into a code okay so it is implementation or coding okay multiple languages are uses like C sharp, like uh, PHP, Java. After that, when the software is completed, you have to test the software. Test means either the software is providing the requirement functionality or not. Okay, so this is testing. We have multi type of testing which will be discussed later. Okay, like for example, alpha test, beta test, gray test, black test, system test, integrated tests. After the testing, we have to deployment. Uh, we have to deploy the software on a particular. Uh, you can say upon a particular uh, operating system or a particular server. And after the deployment, we have to maintain the software like some errors are coming or some errors bugs are there so we have to remove these bugs with the passage up okay software processes model as we uh, we are all here discuss the linear sequential model which is waterfall and very brief then we discuss the evolutionary process or prototyping today we will discuss the spiral model okay so the you already know these things in the previous video we will discuss it very briefly so we have to go to the spiral model okay so spiral model spiral model is basically the combination of waterfall model and the incremental or prototyping model the spiral model is a risk driven where the process is represented as a spiral rather than a sequence of activities. As we know that in waterfall model the phases are sequentially are linear. Like for example in the first phase you have to collect the requirements, then the design phase, then the, the, the coding phase, then the testing phase and the evaluation phase. In a spiral model, the 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 phases are in a spiral, like in a spiral wave. In the in the later in the diagram, you will see that it was designed to include the best feature from the waterfall model. The best feature of the waterfall model was that you have to complete the one phase before going to the next phase okay 
and water promoters the main disadvantage was that that you cannot evaluate the change so in spiral model you can uh, evaluate change you can modify change in every base okay so it was designed to include the best feature from the waterfall model and prototyping models in prototyping model you know that in each uh, after in each particular cycle you get a prototype you get a earlier version of the software okay and introduce a new component which is risk assessment or calculation what is risk in assessment risk in assessment means like if you are creating the software so you collect the requirements okay so you just pick one risk like for example the customer want to complete the software within a one within a one month so in this case you have your rest this your time like you have to complete the software in a one month okay so in each phase we collect multiple risks like for example in the initial uh, in spiral model we will know we have four to six phases and we will discuss it now at each phase but just earlier know that in a spiral model the first phase is planning you have to plan for the software like how to collect the requirements so the collection of requirements is a risk okay you take it as a risk like how to collect the requirement how to collect the complete requirement how to collect the concise requirements okay how to collect the the the, the, the perfectly matched requirements okay so this is risk you have to you have to uh, to take a risk in each way and for this risk you have to collect some requirements you have to do some planning after the planning you have to test you have to code and evaluate the software after that you have to test it and after testing you have to communicate with the customer like the software is okay or not after getting the feedback from the customer you have to take a new risk yeah you have to take a new planning and then again start a software okay and after a certain cycle you collect a one prototype or you collect a initial version of the software each loop of the spiral is called a phase of the software development process okay the spiral model the spiral model has four phases generally okay but maybe it's very from four to six number one is planning planning after planning the second phase is risk analysis the third one is engineering and evalu uh, evaluation evaluation okay okay so what is planning a software project repeatedly okay when you creating when you create a software and using a spiral model so a software project repeatedly process through these phases and iteration okay it is clear like if you are creating a software and you are using the spiral model so you have these four phases you will use these four phases repeatedly an iteration model okay the baseline starting point are a zero point spiral starting the planning phase okay so the me the starting point uh, or you can say the zero um, point or the baseline is planning like you have to start from the planning phase like in the waterfall model you start from the requirements gathering in the spiral model you have to start from the planning phase after the planning phase you have the requirements and gathering and risk assess assess our uh, assessment okay <clears throat> after that okay so the phases are first phase is planning phase what is planning in the planning phase requirements are gathering during the planning phase like for example you have you know that we uh, before the okay in the planning phase 
you have to connect the requirements and after the collection of requirements you create a brc or business requirement specification or srs or say software system requirement specification what is brs and srs we will discuss it later briefly but for now just know that srs me software requirement specification it is a particular or uh, a uh, a systematic uh, you can say a uh, uh, a grammatical uh, uh, word file in which you discuss each and everything in a written form about the software like for example you collect the requirements so you have to mention you have to write it like how you collect the requirements like for example you you um, you um, uh, you make a meeting with a customer you did a meeting you create a questionnaire you create a, a, a lesson plan uh, something like that so you have to mention that what you did for the requirements scheduling okay in a written form so once when the requirement is gathering you plan for it like how to collect the requirements you you execute the plan after the requirements collection the risk analysis phase is start in the risk analysis phase a process is undertaken to identify risk you have to identify the risk like you have to mention the planning you have to mention you have to create some points for yourself like how to complete this appear and how much time it will take what will be the resources and what will be the function requirements or what will be the output of the software what will be the purpose of the software so these are the risks okay and for these risks you have to create the alternate solutions the alternate solution means like if you want to complete the software in within a month so you have to create the milestones you have to divide the one month between the four phases okay so for example you have 30 days so the initial eight days you divide for the you uh, you decided for the planning so in the initial eight days you create a plan for the software requirements for the software requirements gathering okay after the eight months it's mean you collect all the requirements so in the next eight days you start the risk analysis you did the risks you make some alternative solutions okay and after the next eight days it is clear that you complete the testing coding okay and software completion and the last eight days you are in the way to develop the software or to develop the software to, to deploy the software okay so you divide the months in four phases like after the months you are you must be in the last stages of the software completion okay so a prototype is produced at the end of the risk analysis space okay after the risk analysis you have a prototype but this prototype is called paper prototype paper prototype means you have in a written form that how to complete the software okay इसको मैं अगर उर्दू में यहाँ पर इस तरह कह लूँ कि आफ्टर रेस्क एनालिसिस आपके पास एक प्रोटोटाइप बन जाता है उस प्रोटोटाइप को हम पेपर प्रोटोटाइप कहते हैं पेपर प्रोटोटाइप हम उसको इसलिए कहते हैं कि अभी तक आपके पास एक एग्जीक्यूटिवल फॉर्म में सॉफ्टवेयर नहीं बना आपके पास पेपर फॉर्म में सॉफ्टवेयर बन गया यानी आपके पास रिटर्न में आ गया कि मैंने कौन कौन से तरीके अपनाने हैं रिक्वायरमेंट्स कलेक्शन के लिए ये मेरे रेस्क हो गए अपने की पॉइंट्स में लिख दिए इसी रिस्क के लिए मैंने ये अल्टरनेटिव सोल्यूशन बना दिए 